close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. As for anything else, you can put it aside. Try to develop some mindfulness in the mind, in other words, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, to, the ability to watch what you're doing and see whether it's getting the results you want or not. And if it's not getting the results you want, then you want to develop some ardency to do it better. If you are getting the right results, then you want to develop the ardency to keep things going. When you develop these qualities of the mind, you're developing a protector for yourself. Because all too often we do things and later think about what we're doing, why we did it. And if you think after you've done something, then it's too late. You want to think before. And that requires that you have a clear sense beforehand of what's right, what's wrong, what, what should be abandoned in the mind, what should be developed. Those are things you've got to keep in mind. So whatever comes up, no matter how suddenly or drastically, you know what to do. So try to develop these qualities in mind. We're working on our true happiness here. It's one of the reasons why we bow down to the Buddha, because he wants us to show respect for things within ourselves that are worthy of respect. And our desire for true happiness is one of those things. We make up our mind we don't want to just go for cheap thrills. We want happiness at last. That will be to our long-term well-being, and also doesn't harm anybody else, because that's an important part of a happiness that's going to last. If your happiness depends on somebody else's suffering, they're not going to stand for it. They're going to do what they can to destroy it. This means that true happiness has to develop good qualities in the mind, like compassion, realizing that you don't want to harm other people, qualities like wisdom, realizing that you want to go for a long-term happiness, not just a short-term, and also that you work out the ways of or the tactics for getting your mind to do what really is in line with your long-term best interest. That requires a lot of wisdom and discernment. And then there's purity. In other words, if your actions cause anybody else any harm, you want to admit the fact to yourself and then learn not to do that, Either whether it's causing harm to yourself or causing harm to others. In other words, you want your actual actions to be in line with your values. So these are all good qualities that we have to develop in mind. So when you're looking for true happiness, it's not just a selfish thing. You're not just being hedonistic. You want to look for happiness that requires that the whole mind be trained. But it's a happiness that's worth the respect. It's not like the happiness that they promise in advertisements. So they say, buy our product and you'll be happy. Well, you buy the product and you're happy for a little bit, but then it's not satisfying, so you're going to buy something else and something else. That kind of happiness, there's, there's no end to the quest, and it keeps moving further and further away. And the kind of qualities that you develop in mind when you go for that kind of happiness. You develop greed, you develop impatience. You get selfish about what you want. So think about the kind of happiness you're looking for and the kind of mind you're going to develop as you search for the happiness. If you're looking for true happiness, this is how you do it. You train the mind in good qualities. And that becomes a noble quest. And you become a noble person. So think about the kind of happiness you're looking for in life and what kind of person you're becoming as you search for it. And here's the Buddha's recommendation. We bow down to the Buddha because he has this, as I say, bow down to something in ourselves, our desire for true happiness, our desire to develop good qualities in mind, to become a noble person in mind. That's worth the respect, so bow down to the good qualities in your mind every day. <laughs>